It's Jeff and Wilma Budroom, and this is a beekeeping video, and it's more about beekeeping equipment than uh, bees themselves. I was out driving this afternoon, I did a bee job, and on my way around, have a look at this here. It's a beautiful cupboard made out of pine, and, and look, look what was on there. Does the camera pick that up, Wilma? Yes. That's free. I knocked on the door and asked for a hand to put on the back of my ute and this elderly lady came out to give me a hand to put on the back of my ute. It's quite heavy and all that weight is from this pine. I'll be able to make lids and bases and probably even repair some bee boxes. Here a sample of the things you can make with stuff uh, that you pick up. Now this is a bee lid that I made a few weeks ago. Now that timber I got out of a skip. Only this morning I was mentioning on the flow forum now that I picked up a heap of timber from a skip. I went and asked the builder if I was allowed to take it and he said yes and he was really thrilled when I took him back some honey. Anyway that's the timber from I got from the skip and I treated it with copper naphthenate. Now a generous uh, anonymous person left a, a wardrobe outside the gate. They must have known that I was a beekeeper and I wanted it. They left it outside the gate at my main bee site. You mean they dumped it there for someone else to clean up? Possible, but I think, honestly, they probably thought that I'd, I would want it. Anyway, the very next day we went and picked it up and we brought it home and within two hours I had it all pulled apart. This is the ply. Within a couple of days I had about half a dozen lids made with the ply on the top of the lid. I mentioned on the forum about six months ago about this pin. So this is the side of a white good. I think it might be a clothes dryer or something like that. It's an old white good. So I just cut it to size with a cutting wheel and sanded it back and I put six nails but put a nice bead of silicon under it and uh, a nice bead of silicon around the outside. We'll go around the back and, and I'll show you the bottom boards. These are the bottom boards that I make. Timber on the bottom, it's a uh, tongue and groove. It came from a garage sale. I got a stack of it, about $60. And I've, I've used a lot of this stuff and a lot of it's still unused on top of our ceiling. Uh, it's been treated with copper naphthenate around there that came from a skip so I've knocked that all up and uh, so they're ready to go but I've got quite a few bottom boards that need replacing so you need to keep your eyes out when you're out driving you never know what you, what you might find you know in skips or sometimes people will put some wood out the front and put a sign on there free so yeah never want to pass up an opportunity like that thanks for watching we'll catch you later bye bye